Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to make uh, homemade meatballs to go with that homemade sauce video that we put out, okay? Uh, our ingredients here, we've got chopped meat here mixed. Actually, I made these huge meatballs. Those are not what I'm going to cook up, actually. Those aren't meatballs. Those were hamburgers that I made for um, my son's birthday party today, and we never use them. So I said, That's me. That's him right there. Uh, pizza virus. Uh, he's taking Hello. this video from me. I certainly appreciate it. All right? I hope so it comes out good and I don't mess it up again. You're going to be fine. Just uh, keep it uh, you know, steady. Let's not move the camera around for everyone. All right, so I'm going to take these here. This is this is about a pound. This is about two pounds of meat right here. Um, that it has 90% uh, lean meat as well as 80% lean. I like to have a little bit of fat in there so you get some flavor. All right, so what we're going to do here... We're going to take this meat, we're going to dump it in the bowl. That's going to go... Well, stuck, don't yeah, you think? That's okay. And they're going to get in that bowl. All right, we're going to start bringing everybody to the party here. Okay, we're going to go about a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. We're also going to go with uh, some sea salt here. All right. Just about a teaspoon of fresh sea salt as well. In the meantime, we're going to get the pan heating up here in the front on, uh, almost on high. All right, let's finish up with that salt. Okay, we're not going to go too crazy with the salt, guys, honestly, because there's going to be some salt in what we're putting in this, what we're putting in these meatballs. All right, we're going to go a little garlic powder, I mean a little onion powder. Okay, we're going to go with a little bit of garlic salt, so there's a little more salt, so we don't go too crazy. A little Lowry's garlic salt. We're going to go with a little... Garlic powder. I can smell it. Yeah, yeah. Garlic powder. Okay, we are going to go with. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to say we're going to go with two cups of breadcrumbs. Now that's not sponsored, but that's four C seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm going to go with three cups actually, because I need to make quite a bit for the party I'm bringing these to tomorrow. So. You can add a little more breading or a little less breading, depending on how much you need to stretch that meat out, guys. So don't go too crazy. But you're going to put three cups in there with two pounds of meat. And let's add that in. we got our pan heating up over here. Oh, starting to get nice and hot. So let's get in that pan with like three to four tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. All right. Now what I like to do, and we're going to also go with... None of this is sponsored. Right. We're going to go in with a little butter, guys. Now the reason I cook this, what I'm doing is I'm cooking up fresh garlic and fresh onions. I'm going to just sweat them out and get this oil and butter is going to get infused with the fresh garlic, okay, and the onions. So instead of putting it in raw into the meatballs, even though they're going to get cooked, we're going to um, come in here. Let me get my knife. We're going to come in here with just a little bit of pre-cooking on this uh onion and garlic in these meatballs, all right? So we're going to do three cloves of garlic. We'll smack them down, pull the husk, come right off the oil releases, as you know from my other videos. All right, and then we'll go one more. We're going to go three. Is that butter starting to melt over there, pizza bars? Yes, it is, a okay. lot. is it starting to mix with that olive oil? I guess. That's what Does we're that looking look for. Like now guys? we're going to come over here. Here. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to move these to the back for now. All right, we're going to dice this garlic up. Nicey nice. Nice and small. So this gets mixed in. But we're going to infuse that butter and olive oil with this garlic flavor. All right, and we're going to also hit that with some onions. So let's get this garlic in with that butter and olive oil, right? And let's go with a half an onion. We're going to do a half a white onion. You can use sweet onion, you can use white onion. They were on sale, so that's what we used. We used the white onion. Not too much with the camera there. Okay. Pan starting to boil over there? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to come in here, Mikey. We're gonna that is boiling. Right, look, really... we're coming in here, we're going to go across. We're going to go across. We're going to go across, right? Then we're going to go this way. Alright, we're making little pieces of onion. Little cubes, so we're going this way now. Okay. Oh wow, they're right. Alright, let's get this all cut up, right? We'll get this out of there. Alright, this is kind of 
kind of big. We'll leave that out. All right. Going in. Let's saute that up and get that going. We're going to caramelize those up nice. Oh, you can smell that garlic cooking now, guys. It's really starting to come along. All right, spin it around a little bit, swirl it up and down, all around. All right. Beautiful. Now, we'll let that cook for just a few minutes, guys. We're going to hit that with a little fresh oregano. Okay, and that's going to infuse also with that. Fresh garlic and the onions. Oh, my eyes. Yeah, don't let that get to your eyes there, buddy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Some of these onion pieces are a little big, so let's get them out. You just, that's yeah. steaming hot, and that's you just okay. took them. Okay. My fingers are numb from cooking since I was seven years old, my man. So they don't feel all that. So we're just going to dice that a little smaller. I don't like them that big. They look weird. We don't now. want big, chunky pieces of onion in the meatballs. Guys, it's optional. If you don't like onions, don't put the onion. You can leave that out. You don't have to put that in. We're going to get that going. Now, in the meantime, while that's going, we're bringing this back in. We've got the breadcrumb in there. Go with a little bit of olive oil in here. All right? We've got the three to four cups of breadcrumb in there. We've got all the garlic powder, onion powder, fresh ground pepper. Everything is in there. We're going to jump three eggs in here as well. That's Why? Going to, that's going to help with the binder. All right? We just open them up, crack them right in one-handed. We know what we're doing. We've done this a few years. So we're pretty experienced with that. Coming in with another one. I'm actually going to go four. There They're all just going in the corners. That's fine. A little small. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys, because you know what we're going to do? We're going to come in here with our hands and we're going to make some meatballs. Hey! That's all right. It. This here, guys, ready to go. Guess what? Right in there. It goes. Oh, wow. Okay. Right in there it goes. This goes off. All right. Now we're going to keep this pan. We're going to keep it over here because guess what? Once we mix all this up, we're going to fry up these meatballs, okay? We've got eggs, we've got olive oil, we've got butter mixed with garlic and butter and olive oil with garlic and onions, and we're ready to go here. We don't want to really cook. We want to get this uh, onion mixed in. Don't let it start cooking eggs. Now we want to mix the breading. We want to incorporate all this together, guys, okay? All I'm going to add to this is some grated Parmigiano Romano cheese because I like little cheese in my meatballs. So we're going to go ahead and add that as well. Just have to get that out of the fridge. And then we're going to start making some meatballs. Okay. I can't take it anymore. Oh my gosh. Now if you, don't, if you don't like the onion, don't put the onion. I like the onion. So we're going to go ahead with the onion. Oh. Am I allergic to onion? <laughs> if you're allergic to onion, don't use onion. Guys, here we go. Now, let me get that grated cheese. Is it just me or does that look like barf? <laughs> That's meatloaf slash meatballs slash whatever you want to make that into. You can make that into an Italian uh, rolled. You can lay this out, roll it out, and load it with all kinds of yummy stuff. Jeez. You want to make Italian meatloaf? You you take this, you roll it out flat, and then you load it up with salami, pepperoni, provolone, and you roll it into a big cigar, and then you cook that in the oven. Let me grab a, just a quick little spoon here. We're going to just, we're gonna just mix in this. We're going to now pull this back over. We're going to go back in with the olive oil. We're going to put that back on with a little olive oil. We're going to infuse that with a little bit of garlic. Not again, no. Yes, again, just garlic, just a little bit of garlic to flavor these outside crust of these meatballs that we're about to put together here, guys. Now you watch how fast these meatballs come together. Bada bang. Now, I love fresh garlic. I don't know about you guys, it's very healthy and um, I love it. Going in here, oh, you hear it already, guys? The good Whoa. thing about Google Pixels, you can see it very well. Yeah. Thanks to 30 Virus, thank you again, 30, for, for those tiny updating bubbles. my phone and uh, getting me going and everything on the channel. Look at those tiny bubbles, that is so... Yeah, we're just going to infuse that just a little bit. All right, we're back in the meatball mix here, guys. Yeah, we got to worry about that. We're not worrying about anything. We're about to make some meat the balls. All right. We're going to go kind of small with these. 
these meatballs. So let's go in here. Mini meatballs? Yeah, we're gonna make some mini meatballs, man. Just have a little fun. Get in there, boom. Well, one. Two, yeah, one. All right, let's keep going. Two. I mean, we do these fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, it's fast. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting, man. We're gonna get these in here. We're gonna cook these up, actuality. So how much do you say this makes? Well, this is going to make uh, probably somewhere in the 20 meatballs to 30 meatballs. Oh, my you got, gosh. Yeah, you got okay. two pounds of meat between the breading and the egg and all that. Yeah, I just added a little more breading because it was a little little loose. And we got to let this go a little longer way anyway. So you can add less and more breading, less breading. It doesn't have to be precise. All right, boom. Four. Put these in. Get these meatballs in here. All right, boom, we're going in. They don't have to be perfect meatballs. They're rustico. We add this to that nice ragu that we made. You saw that on the video, and this, these are just going to be delicious. Between the cheese and the egg and the breading and the layered flavors and the salt and the grated cheese. I add a little cheese in these. Now, you could also, if you want, you could add cheddar into this. You know, you could add a little shredded cheddar into this mix. Just the I way thought you did is. already. You put no, cheese in. I put grated Parma Romano. Oh. I'm just giving them ideas to do cheesy meatballs. I mean, you can do cheesy meatballs. I don't think I have enough room in this pan for all these meatballs. You might have to get a separate pan. That's like the biggest pan we have. Yeah, okay. We'll get another one. I'll make them a little smaller. All right, the meat the balls. There we go. Let's roll them up just like this. Boom. That's actually really good right there. This one's not patch enough. So, you know, I'm trying to do them quick here for you guys. I don't want it to be like a 20 minute video. It's already 11 minutes in, but yeah, it's okay. so, guys, Basic. when we come back, we'll see uh, the rest of this coming together. We'll see the meatballs ground up. When we come back, we'll finish it up. All right, guys, we're back, and these meatballs are starting to look good. We got our ragu going, because that's where the meatballs are going to end up in that, in that nice ragu. And if you go to the channel, you'll see how to make that, the Calabrese sauce. We're going to flip the, look at that, that's the color, guys. Ooh. That's what you're looking for there. See that color? We want these crispy. We're doing them old style. You can do these in the oven, but I like to do them old school. I like to pan fry them, guys. But just like the breaded chicken cutlets I showed you guys how to make in a previous video, you can bake these in the oven. So if you wanted to, you can put olive oil on a pan, a sheet pan, and you can throw these right in the oven. Let's turn the pan off for now. It's a little loud. I don't know if you, hopefully you guys hear everything I was saying. Like I said, if you want to put these on a sheet pan and bake them in the oven, you can also do that. And a lot of restaurants do that. They do the meatballs right on a sheet pan in the oven. So we're going to flip these over. Look at that color, guys. Look at the color. That's a fried meatball right there, okay? That's a fried meatball. These are ready to flip here. Oh, that one's kind of broken. No, though. it's fine. They're, they're definitely they're crispy, definitely, but don't worry. Definitely ones in the middle are more crispier than the ones away that, from That the doesn't area. matter. They're all going to end up crispy. And that crust that you're looking at there is wonderful because that's going to just soften up when that sits in that sauce and it's going to soak up that yummy, yummy gravy that we made, the ragu, the red sauce, all right? So we're going to flip these over. You know, don't worry about these. I know what you're saying. Some of them are a little more brown than others. Don't sweat it, guys. Well, the ones in the middle are, so... It's don't like... sweat it. You don't worry about that. So, you know... That looks like want... an X on the middle. You, you want to pull that one out to the side? Move that in the middle. Move that in the middle. Move this to the outside, even. It's fine. You know, you can do what you want there, guys. All right, so we're going to get these nice and fried in this olive oil infused with garlic. This is all going to end up in our sauce. And we're going to have the meatballs with the spaghetti sauce to make spaghetti and meatballs. So when we come back, guys, we're going to finish this off. So, um, so awesome. hey, thanks for coming out. We'll be back shortly. Oh. All right, guys, look at this. These meatballs are really taking shape here. They're getting a beautiful crust on them. Now, listen, guys, honestly, you don't have to do this if you don't want to fry them. I like to fry them but then put them in the sauce. You could literally cook them in the sauce if you wanted to. But I'll be honest with you, I like to get a little crust on them and get them, look at that. I mean, just look at that crust coming on these. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So what we're going to do is just finish these up. And these are going to get, they're going to, you're talking about cooking these things total of about a half hour to 35 minutes total on these. And then they're going to go right into the sauce. And we're about ready to go ahead and transfer that into the sauce. So 
Actually, I'd like to get a quick picture of just those meatballs, if uh, you can do that on the video there. You can't you, take a picture yeah, of you can right there, that top button. Oh, that is? Well, let's get a screenshot of that picture, because I will need that. And these are the Calabrese meatballs that All right. everybody loves. We got that picture, All that's right, perfect. beautiful. So you know what, guys, let's head on into the... Sauce. ...to the ragu. All right, and we're going to just... We're going to... We're going to add our meatballs right into the sauce, guys. See this? Boom. Boom. We're going to move that, turn that off. We're going to come into the sauce with these meatballs. Boom. And let these just cook in here with that sauce now. And yummy yum. Now, guys, meatballs. You can use these meatballs for meatball subs. Uh, for spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, let's get creative here. If you want to make a wrap. If you want to make a meatball pizza, if you want to make a meatball calzone, you've got the sauce, you've got the dough, you can do anything you want. Slice these up, throw this on a pizza, forget about it. You want to talk about delicious? Delicious meat lover's pie. All right, guys, thanks for coming out. I appreciate all you subscribing. 30 Virus, love you, buddy. Thank you so much for shouting me out, and we'll see you on the next video, guys.